You having a good day? Yep. You having a good day? Yep. You having a good day? Yep. Organic Mike here. I'm sitting out here with my, my buddy. What I wanted to show you is uh, I got accomplished what I wanted here. Um, this is my old setup here. And actually, what I'm running now, which I like better, was my first design of ram pump that I uh, I saw somebody else kind of using it. And then I saw some people using this. And, um, what happens with these brass check valves is they wear out. And, and you can see right here, there's a big hole in the pipe there too. So the thing finally quit working after about three to five years. I can't remember how long it's been. But what I'm excited about, let me zoom in here, my battery's dying, is I'm running two ram pumps at the same time off the same drive line pretty much. And I'll show you real quick if this battery doesn't die. Come over here and show you the other one. I can't zoom back out, so it's going to be shaky video because this battery's fixing to die. But maybe you'll get the idea. Here's the second ram pump. Running a little bit faster. <clears throat> and I put a valve on this one because I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna run this one all the time. I just want to see if it would work off the same drive line. And here's what kind of pressure I've already built up. Come on, focus. There's too much stuff in the way. It's about 20 psi. Oh, I know why it won't focus, because it's zoomed out, zoomed in, I mean. It's getting close to 20 PSI. So anyway, two ram pumps on the same drive line. I say same drive line. There's an inch and a quarter going all the way over here into that trough, and it tees into that drive line that the other one's working off of. So they, they're they separated just enough, but... Um, I'm still not using all of my water that, that which I'm excited about because the overflow out of here goes over here to this little water wheel which is my indicator to make sure that my ramp pumps aren't over using the water so this is the overflow that I still have coming off of the uh, system so I still have some headroom there which is cool technically I could hook up three ram pumps I would just have to uh, set up another drive line, I'm sure, because what's happening is the ramp pump over there that we just left, not this one, it, um, it has an erratic pulse every now and then. It kind of pauses for a second because uh, this one's throwing it off, which is not a big deal. But anyway, two ramp pumps, and these are, you know, there's not much fall on this line at all, maybe less than a foot. So you can make a ramp pump in any scenario. And the water that's driving these ram pumps is the water that's coming off the bottom of that cattle trough that we just looked at. It's, I think it's a 200 gallon. And I'm still not using all my water coming out of my well because I still have overflow. So that's what I'm talking about. Gotta love that. OrganicMike.com. Subscribe if you like. I have two YouTube channels. Go to OrganicMike.com. I have the my original one and the new one but most of my videos are on my old one so I sure wish YouTube would make it to where you could join your channels together or at least upload them at the same time that's the biggest problem is uploading everything looks like these ducks have the right idea you having a good day yep what about you yep all my ducks are in a row so, organicmike.com, subscribe if you like.